in this video I want to explain micro light controller functionality. So if you order one you will receive this little board. Oop. Here's the outputs on the right side and basically inputs on the left side. And this board has like three, one, two, three can can wires inputs. They act like a splitter. So if you order a splitter board, you can also use this one the same way. And with micro light board you receive a big bag of wires. You can cut these wires in the middle to connect uh, different devices, lights or whatever you need. So here I have pre-configured controller um, and three buttons assigned the one button turn left, turn right and warning signal. Also there is a little temperature sensor over here. I'll try to grab it and heat it up. Heat it up. Here it is. The temperature light turns on. So the settings. Let me show you. Going to devices, micro light. And let's start from inputs configuration. Here's the few inputs you can set up here. The temperature sensor type and value, it shows the value over here. And can control is related to throttle and brake input on this board. You can check schematic over here. This is to brake and throttle, uh, the other way, throttle and brake inputs. So if you turn on this setting, you can control the motor controllers from this board using only, only one input, for example. It acts the same way as the master controller settings on the controllers, motor controllers. Function setup let you to choose which port related to which function. And the one, <clears throat> this one, extra setting on top, uh, lets you to disable all lights all, all these lights if you do not disable power on this board but you disable controller so the shutdown signal will be received over CAN bus on these wires and all the lights will be disabled left switch right switch is basically inputs there are few inputs available let's start from beginning so off is like disabled completely on constantly enabled Input 1, input 2, input 3, 4, 5, 6 is the inputs located over here on the board. Check schematic for that. C1 is the CAN inputs, CAN bus inputs. And there are 16 inputs available over the CAN bus. So I set up this left, right and warning switch that I clicked at the beginning. You can change the brightness of the blinking and time timing too. Break signal is configurable by two brightnesses adjusted at adjustments and disabled brake is when you did not click the brake signal you can change the brightness from 0 to 100 and on brake brightness and when you click it you can also change this one make it more or less powered let me put it back. Reverse signal setup is the reverse button on the controller. There is no reverse button here. It's a function button. So when the controller will have a re reverse function working, this signal will be also active. I don't have it connected over here. Beam setup, low beam switch is on by default. High beam switch is port setting here. And beam mode means if the beams connected separately, like this wire and this wire have different inputs, or the beams are connected the same way as this brake wire, so single one setting. So it will change the brightness between three of these on only one output. Horn setup is a horn button. You can attach a horn signal if you need. Fan control lets you to control fans for cooling down motor or controller or do anything you want using this internal uh, temperature sensors, two temperature sensors. So here I have this one for example, set up like this. And you can see inputs of 
of this board in the input values is the same basically the back page as the motor controller have here's the current consumption by LEDs I can click the brake and the current will go up higher a little bit the brake and throttle as I said it's located over here you can connect brake and throttle inputs and temperature sensor so if I grab this sensor over here you can see the temperature going higher and the light will turn on it's not soldered well and inputs is the button inputs on this board uh, button or switches output configuration you can set up here which function related to which port so every board have six power outputs on the right side and here I had set up turn left right modes and so for example I can just enable the output one and the light will light up constantly full power let's put it back to turn left each output has frequency configuration for basic light bulb you don't need to high frequency select the 100 Hz that's enough to not see the flicker on the camera too and the basically high frequency has a little mark fan it's for controlling the fan it's a standard frequency for the fans also my lower frequencies may work fine so here I'll put 1, 2, 3, 4 frequency con 3 configured for break, 4 configured for temperature 1 not connected outputs 5 and 6 the list of functions so basic, of, basic function is disabled enabled button function is not implemented yet turn left turn right brake signal light up right now low beam high beam reverse function horn temperature of the motor temperature of the controller temperature 1 this sensor over here and temperature 2 the another sensor on the port nearby that's all the function you can choose for now also the board has low power outputs PVM outputs you can connect here for example some low uh, optocouple relay switches you can check schematic for these outputs over here and the same way you choose the frequency of these ports and the function of them total is for four extra low power ports available and let me show you the display configuration that I used here to turn left and right so hotkey 1 2 3 1 2 3 configure it as can button 9 10 and 11 the same way as the function has been configured over here 9 10 11 left turn right turn and a warning let me show you again left turn right turn and the warning the only difference is if you're using a hotkey you may need to change the button setting here change it to the button so it will latch up and constantly blink the light until you click it again over here if you're using external inputs over here on the back of the display these white inputs connectors you can uh, also configure them as a CAN button over here they configure it 1, 2, 3, 4 and assign these CAN buttons to this board functions the same way as the hotkey is assigned so that's all like subscribe on my channel see you later